hello everyone welcome to our channel cook with cookie in today's video i am going to show you a very special fish curry this is called chapala iguru in telugu that is this is famous in andhra you can also call it as fish iguru because this is different from fish curry so let us see how to prepare you need to take three medium sized onions and chop it and seven to eight green chili and put it aside take a pan and add five tablespoons of oil and add chopped onions and chilies into it and allow them to fry here you can take any fish of your choice i have taken rohu you can take katla or any fish of your, your choice clean it and put it aside now allow the onions to turn golden brown meanwhile i have taken a lemon sized tamarind and added water and allowed it to soak again take two medium sized tomatoes chop it and then after the onions turn golden brown add the tomatoes and allow them to turn soft once the tomatoes turn soft now add 1 tablespoon of green uh, sorry ginger garlic paste and 2 spoons of chili powder a pinch of turmeric now allow the tomatoes to cook for a while let the oil ooze out of the tomatoes meanwhile squeeze the tamarind that we have soaked it earlier i have added only half the quantity which i have soaked if you want a little bit tangier you can add it but that kills the fish taste so add it little only so once you add the tamarind juice into it you can add one full glass of water that is one large glass of water into it and allow it to cook for 5 to 6 minutes on high flame i have added rock salt over here because that adds a great taste and flavor to the curry if you don't have it you can add normal salt also now once you get a nice boil that is your one full glass of water should turn uh, get reduced to half a glass of water then only you need to add fish pieces into it normally people add fish pieces along with the water they add but if you do so what happens is fish always gets cooked earlier so what happens is while the water gets reduced the remaining fish pieces they get smooth and once you tilt it they you may have a chance of breaking it so don't do that mistake now close the lid and allow it to cook for another 3 to 4 minutes on high flame and then check for the consistency now for fish curry regular fish curry we have the regular consistency that is um thin gravy type now see after that i have added a little bit of that is 1 teaspoon of cumin powder and 1 teaspoon of dhania powder or coriander powder you can observe that my gravy is reducing little by little now i'll just show you difference between regular fish curry and fish iguru see once you drop the gravy on the plate and you tilt it towards to towards your side see the plate you can see a little bit transparent it is and all the gravy dropped down now this is fish curry i have allowed the gravy to cook for another 5 minutes on medium flame now you can see that gravy has stick to the plate and it is not dropping that easily and you cannot see the plate on the background also now this is what fish iguru looks like you need to have a thick gravy so that the uh, oil from the fish oozes out and that gives more flavor to it that's it cook for another 2 minutes on medium flame and then add coriander that's it serve it with hot rice you will truly love this fish iguru has a different and variety taste that you will never forget and next time if you try this you will regularly cook this fish iguru instead of fish pulsu or fish curry only now let me know how it turned to you in the comment section please do subscribe our channel thank you